Okay, let's see if I can actually get this video filmed without getting interrupted all the time. I have two cats sitting outside my craft room door, scratching and meowing. Um, but I'm not gonna let them in right now because they're just gonna end up on the table. So I had a few requests um, for a video or tutorial on how I make my tag bags. Um, I don't know if they exist anywhere else. Probably I just call them tag bags because they're made out of a, um, of a brown paper bag and I stuff tags in them. So that's how I named them. Um, they are actually something similar um, that I've made in the past are um, loaded bags um, where you would just use any little gift bag and turn it like make a whole bunch of little um, tuck spots and other um, pockets and you just stuff it or load it with ephemera or other little paper pieces, cardstock pieces, um, and craft supplies, and then you would just swap it with friends in the mail. That's what I've done in the past, but I figured, hey, I can use this for my cra uh, for my junk journal, and that's what I did. So in my, in my journal, I actually have um, this little lace pocket, and I decide on lace so I can still see still see the whole the whole thing with those pretty colors because if it was like fabric or paper you would just you would only see half of it so that's how I plan on using them and then I'm gonna use the tags um, to journal so this one is actually my favorite that I made earlier today um, so in the back I just have a big tag and then um, this is like um, dotted paper for um, bullet journals or I don't know I don't I don't um, bullet journal, but uh, I would just use it to write on. And then I have this little tag where I just stamp the Paris stamp and I can write on the back. And then up here, this is just a little card that I found in my stash. And I decorated it. And then on the back, I just put a picture that I had from an old kid's book and put it on there. So uh, we're going to make one. Um, the base is just a little uh, brown paper bag, and I actually got those at Walmart yesterday. I saw those, and I had to grab them before they're gone, because lately all the craft um, shelves or craft aisles are pretty empty, picked over. So you get 16 bags, and I paid $1.84, so that's actually pr a pretty good deal. Okay, so what do you need? Um, a paper bag. You can also use bigger ones, especially if you have a bigger journal. I just picked these because my journal is fairly small, um, so I can actually fit those in there. What else? Uh, so you need, I used book pages, um, and then just some tags and decorations. Um, I love everything nature and birds, so I decided to make this one a bird-themed um, tag bag. And the first thing you're going to do is tape book pages or um, paper, whatever paper you want, on the on the bag. So this is actually our going to be our, um, this way, our front. So all you do is, um, where this fold is, you just uh, fold it up, like so. And I use my, I don't have my bone folder right now, so I just use my ruler. So this will be the back, this will be the front. And we're going to glue this um, together, this part, because we don't need that. I can get my glue out. Come on. Of course, now it's plugged. Here we go. And then... I'm clean this up. Oh, and one thing you can do too, or first, um, I usually um, put glue in here too because I don't need these openings, so I probably should have done this first. Same with this one. Okay. So, I usually put this one first and then the back and then this side or this little flap, so I'm going to see what I'm going to do first. Do 
I do this? Or the book page. I think I'm going to do the book page. This is from a um, Edgar Allan Poe book. So I'll just use my, my glue stick. Works pretty well on this paper. And they get cat hair on it. Or dog hair, I don't know. Okay. Let's see. Just gonna see. Trying to get it straight. Okay. And then I'll just cut that off. Ugh, I gotta sharpen these scissors. Okay, so the first, the front side is done. And now I'm gonna do the back side. Um, on the back side, I'm gonna have put this big, this big picture on there, so you're not gonna see a lot of the book page. But I didn't, I didn't want it to like be brown, so I'll just. Well, I should probably put use a different book page. Now I gotta find that book. I'm just gonna use this. Okay. Try to line it up in the middle of the page so I have the same amount of white space on the left and the right. Okay. This probably gonna do the this one. I like this one. Okay. Where's my glue stick? Actually I can do it like this. Just gotta make sure that it's not upside down. And then what I usually do, I just um, make it look old. And you could probably corner um, uh, around those corners, but I haven't I haven't tried that yet. I just love doing this. Same one here. And on the back. Okay, 
um, for on this one, can't really see. Um, I actually put washi tape down there because I didn't like this, but I ended up gluing other stuff on top of it, so you can't really tell that there's washi, so you don't really have to worry about that if you decorate it. Okay, so the things that I'm going to use, like I said, I'm going to stick this on the back because I just love those birds. And then on the front, I am going to make this little pocket. i got to find the piece that I actually was going to use for it. Oh, here it is. Um, I had some nice paper and I just uh, cut a piece out and I tore the top because I also want to distress this a little bit. And then I'm just gonna stick this right here. Might be a little too tall, but it doesn't like it doesn't matter. If it's too too um short then whatever you stick in there it might fall out. So I'm just gonna use this and I'm going to use my Oh, it's open already. Let's see. Where's my pencil? I always make a little mark so I know where I'm actually... How high up I have to go with the glue. Okay. Am I still in the picture here? Now I just go... It's probably a little too much glue. Around here. And the side. So you have actually, oh, I shouldn't have gone all the way up. Yeah. Don't need that. And then we're going to stick this on there. That's how I wanted. Let it dry for a second. Okay. In the meantime, we can make this pocket. I do it. Oh, my cat's scratching on the door and meowing. Try not to make this video too long. I don't even know. I'm filming on my iPhone, so I don't even know how much, how long the video can be. I don't know how much um, storage I have left. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut this this piece off. And this piece. Wow, my cat is really serious about getting in here. Okay, so here's pocket one. Oops, it's not dry enough. Let it dry for a minute or two. That's pocket two and then pocket three. And I already made this little tag. I'm going to stick that in the back. And then this one I'm going to make to stick in here. And I was thinking maybe this little birdie can sit here. And then you can um, use some little um, ribbon or lace or whatever you have and stick it, like glue it up here or up here. That's how I did it on this one. Here I have the light one and up here I have the dark one. And then I stuck a little flower on there and a butterfly. And I'm going to finish this and then I'm going to show you what I did. So I hope it makes sense. And like I said, I got these for $1.84 at Walmart for 16 bucks. It's a really good, really good price. And I'm sure I'm gonna make a lot of, a uh, lot more of them. Thanks for watching.